Then we've got our 1987 Chevrolet V10 four wheel drive Silverado truck. The first thing we're gonna do is cold start. It is stone cold. Then we're gonna pull it out. We're gonna do a paint meter reading test. Then we'll walk, do a quick walk around, point out the negatives I know about it, even though the truck overall is outstanding, but here's cold start. Again, a one year only truck with 34,659 200 documented miles. Tier is amazing. Dual tanks, cassette, power steering, power brakes, AC, tilt, cruise. It does have manual windows. This is a V10, not an R10, so it is four wheel drive and it is a long bed. Grab my paint meter reading deal. The truck is exceptional. The chassis is exceptional. Overall, it's exceptional. But I'm going to point out its flaws that I know of. It had bed rails up here, so it's got some holes drilled. Probably needs some bed rails put back on it. It's got a drop in bed liner. Up here, it's got a scuff on, one, on the bumper. Right here, scuff on the bumper and the bumper bolt. And one other thing the truck has been buffed. It is original paint. Whoever buffed it, buffed it too hard by this mirror it's hard to see the paints thin there but you'll see it as we go around it with the paint meter and again I believe it's a totally original paint truck so let's start off and see what we got can't see it out in the Sun so we'll pull it inside and do that sorry guys this is not the best environment for a walk around not sure how this truck ended up in this warehouse but I'm sure it's my fault Nobody's fault. Okay, we'll start off with the cow piece. 3.5. 3 on the hood. Three point five. Three point oh. Three point five. 3.5. And we're gonna come over here where I know there's a thin stop, thin spot because you can see it at the top of the sun and you're looking for it. 3.0, 3.0, Here's the thin spot right here. 2.0. 2.0. Three point five, three point oh, three oh, three point five, three point five, three oh, three oh, three oh, three oh. 2.5. Now this is consistent with all the tailgates we've done on these trucks. They've all been 2.5. It's kind of weird. Oh, we've got 3 over here. So disregard that. <laughs> Seem to be a little bit thinner back here. 3.5. 3.5. 3.0. There you go. An exceptionally straight, 
original paint, 87. Uh, now let's get it out so Zach can do a, a walk around with it, maybe do some drone shots and take it for a drive. All right, AC's on. We actually got a first hot day. How you feeling over there, Zach? Warm. <laughs> Summer's here. Look at the floor mats. Look at the dash pad. Just look at the condition of this truck. It's absolutely it's amazing. Now again, 87 was the only year of the 350 fuel injected motor. These are light years different to drive than an 86 and back with a 305 floor barrel. They run smooth, more reliable. So we found this truck, it's been since since 2006. Uh, the owner of this truck bought it for his private collection, which was a large collection. You've seen several of the ones that we got. I believe it was about nine trucks, all very, very special. Some that hadn't been driven, that had little as 100 miles. He was not able to get one of these in 1987. He was pretty upset about that. So as soon as the dealer finally got one, several years later, they traded it. He went down and got it, put about 100, 200 miles on it. You have to look at the records and put it in his private collection. Driven just a few times in the service to get an 06 and it's sad since then. We got it in, changed the sending units, uh, did the fuel injectors, went through the fuel system, uh, checked all the brakes, changed all the fluids and new BFG tires. So it's good to go. AC's blowing cold. Just a beautiful truck. It runs and drives fantastic. Extremely quiet. Of course you can hear the AC blowing right now, but runs exceptionally smooth. It is a long bed, so this is going to be the best ride out of all of them. Grant, I know a lot of you guys want a short bed out there, but these four-wheel drives in the long bed version, they look great. I think it makes the stance look much better when it's a four-wheel drive. And again, the prior series of these was a C10 was two-wheel drive, K10 was four-wheel drive. Then when you came into 87, the final year of the square body, which I, in my opinion, is the ultimate. An R10 was two-wheel drive, and a V10 was four-wheel drive. Rarely do you see an 87 with low miles, because they ran and drove so well that people drove them a lot and put a ton of miles on them. So let's just say you do find an 87, and you're going to restore it to this condition. Though it's going to be expensive to get one in this condition, because this thing is fantastic. Yes, we offer worldwide shipping. We'll help you with that. And here's how much I believe in the condition of this truck. It's no reserve. It's killer. Look at some of the trucks we sold in the past. Look at some of the cars we sold in the past. Look over the hood of this. It's great. So that means whoever the highest bidder is gets it. No reserve, highest bidder wins this truck and we will help you with shipping anywhere in the entire world. Now we're going to jump out real quick. I'm going to throw the drone up so you get a cool shot of that from the top. You can see every single angle of the truck. See it going down the road. And guys, thanks for taking your time. Good luck with bidding. Have a great day.